That's the power of white. Scared that boy right off. Him anyhow. John gone somewhere. We ain't gonna find him back there. Let's try over here now. Go see if he's still there. What do we have here? I see him. Whoa, duck it. My God, they, they were going to. Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra. Andre at the pierced heart. She'll help you. What's that going for? Help should go to the pierced heart. Thank, thank you. Gonna keep looking for you, boy. Where's he at? You killed him. Can't see you coming. She killed another one. She says she was taking him down. That child is just crazy, pure and simple. Possibly. If you fear for your personal safety and strike back against your aggressor, it's called self-defense. And that's all we're talking about here. Self-defense. On the bright side. This guy's too dick. I don't smoke every night, but sometimes you just need a little help taking the edge off. And honey, it certainly does the trick. Possibly. fighting. 
for. And our calls on work. Um. You we Showing up to the rallies, there's All no way they can ignore us. All I'm saying is if we let us. the fear and intimidation yeah. rule over us, we might as well head back out to the cotton field. I know, I know, really I do. But it's hard to get all the stories out of your mind. The beating, the bombing, the lynching. We shouldn't have to be putting our lives on the line to survive. Stop over and see what's going on. I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, Jerry's still out on that one. You some supplies. Heard you were the man to talk to. Cause I just said you might be coming. I'm happy to help, but I ain't running no charity either.
Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hellhole. Paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. Is leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. Spend some time. Get away from I here! Ain't gonna save your ass. Oops. The city has to sweep this nonsense out. Guys, to the law just don't seem right. I think you got something. No problem. Get here. Hey. Merle's holed up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau. Thank you. 
area, maybe stop over and see what's going on. Still can't believe one of those jigaboo mother... Huh? <laughs> All units, search is called off. Repeat, huh? abandon search. Return to patrol. Me now. Oh, I'll be over here. Bleeds like anybody. Oh, I'm coming for your ass. Felt good.
Moving behind something. Out of ammo! Reload! He's got me pinned! Well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of Perlis. Have your men come lock it down. Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. So you say. <clears throat> Me, but I have a friend who...